Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of our 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to start making our way to Vault 81. So without further ado, let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to backtrack a little bit. We're going to come up to these railroad tracks and go back by Uberlin Station. I don't know if it's Uberlin Station or Oberlin Station, but whatever way it's pronounced. <laughs> and we're going to go uh, grab a few magazines, pick up some mutated ferns. And um, because we have to get those for... A little side mission back in Diamond City when we get back to Diamond City. There's uh, Uber Oberlin Station. Just say it both at the same time, I suppose. Confuse everybody. Um, but yeah, we're going to get a few quests done for Diamond City. We won't be turning them in today, obviously, because we're making our way to Vault 81. But might as well get them done while we're here. If we take a right, we can see over here this strange tower structure this is a relay tower uh, popped up <laughs> uh, if we go into this terminal we can extend the satellites oh don't press it twice mr. Wayne and when you extend them hold on let me back up Piper can you can you please move when you extend them you'll see that they kind of stretch out a little bit and you'll have two new broadcasts. Uh, it's just some treasure stuff. If you want to find it, you're more than welcome. The garbled uh, transmission we already did, that's with the alien blaster and all of that, so not really worth grabbing or uh, listening to, not grabbing. I seen him hide. I seen you hide. Oh, no, it's a lady. Or maybe it's a dude. I don't know. Yeah, it is a dude. My bad. My bad, dude. I called you a lady. Some more combat armor. I always pick up the combat armor. By the way, there's many different things that could happen here. Probably won't be bandits for you. It's just random. You can go down in here if you'd like. Uh, there's some loot. Same with down there. I think this is really cool. This lock that they have. And they even put it at... Uh, put the extra detail to the river being higher on this side than it is on that side. I don't know. The little things uh, are what get me. We want to crouch. There are a few ghouls over here. I don't think that many, but enough to want to crouch because you don't want to end up getting beat in the face because you're like, oh, there's a ghoul. We're going to grab a hollow tape over here. Just whenever you grab the mutated ferns, you want to make sure that you don't get rid of them. Keep them on you. Because eventually we're going to turn them in. I know there's some ghouls around here. Did super mutants decorate this place? Piper is probably going to attract him. She's good like that. Oh, look at that. See if we can actually get it. Nope. Miss. Miss. Missed every shot, didn't we? That one's better than expected. 
Oh, there's another ghoul. Did he just fall down? Now would they get to we don't have high perception. That's why we're oh, missing a lot of the shots. And... Oh my goodness. Piper... Come on. Really? <laughs> she is not sneaky at all for being a reporter. Or whatever she is. I think she's technically a reporter. There we go. We're hidden again. There's probably more ghouls around. But before more pop up, let's listen to this hollow tape. Listen, Dale. I don't know what's taking you so long, but you were supposed to meet me here three days ago. The mask applied, and I'm gonna have to make a run. I can see why that Solomon guy is willing to pay so much for these ferns, cause <laughs> let me tell you, getting walkways set up here has been a real pain in my ass. Wait for me to get back before you take the first load to Diamond City. I've got a couple of things I want. Hey, Sheila! That you up there? The walkways look great, but how do I get up there? There you are. Took your sweet time, Dale. Head over a block, there's... <sighs> oh, shit! Girl! Dale, look out! Sounds like more ghouls on our side, too. Uh, did not work out for those people, unfortunately. Let's take some Radex and continue on. Not really worried about those ghouls. If you want to systematically go through and take out all the ghouls, have at it. Also, I'm just going to give everybody a good forewarning. This is a higher difficulty level um, in this section. So you may have a death or two, or you may not. Um, but I always suggest doing a quick save. Up here is kind of um, an event place coming up. It's right below this broken highway, I guess it is. <clears throat> oh, please. Do you have any rat away? I think I may be dying. What? You're a ghoul. You think you're dying? <sighs> if I don't get help soon, I know I am. Alright. Sure. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, you just saved my life. I didn't know that ghouls needed rat away. I thought they were immune to radiation, but I guess not. I don't know where Piper went. She's gone. She's probably back there fighting the fucking ghouls or something. Oh, there she is. I'm like, oh, I'll catch up. And I'm back. You can loot that kind of, I guess, structure, what used to be a house. I don't know why I put kind of in there. It's kind of a house, kind of not. <laughs> what was a house? Not really much loot in there. Also, there's a ton of mutated ferns around here as well. I'm going to grab some of these hub flowers. I usually grab them off camera, but there's a lot of them over here. Now what we want to do is come this way. Uh, we want to be really careful. There's going to be a Mire Lurk King over here. So let's crouch. Grab the Mire Lurk Egg. And wait right here for him to come out. Which he will. Shortly. Oh, of course. There he is. There he is. I was like, you better get your ass out of here, bud. Oh, shit. Yeah. 
pretty sure that's a scripted event. But now we can leave out of here. I just wanted to show off the Meyer Alert King. Just in case anybody got curious and was like, hmm, I'm going to grab this. Well, expect uh, to fight a Meyer Alert King. They're hard, but they're nowhere near the difficulty of a Meyer Alert Queen, which we will be fighting eventually, for sure. Over there, you're more than welcome to explore. Just beware. There is a ton of radiation over there. So probably bring some power armor or take some Radex and bring power armor. There's some more hub flower. I'm going to scoop it up. By the way, for those of you that don't know about hub flower, um, hub flower can make uh, a bunch of chems. Over there is another spot that you can explore, but be careful. There's ghouls, as you can tell. Um, what? <laughs> that was weird. I just wanted to crouch to make sure that he didn't see me. He He's too oblivious. He's standing on that table like a champ. He owns that table. He is the table. He was one with the table. Now, every time I walk by here, there's a rad scorpion that pops out. It may be the same for you. It may not. Bad idea. But I came through here about video. five different times and this rad scorpion came out. So be ready for that. Let's go into WRVR. Rex's uh, transmission will kind of go off. Or start, not really go off, but it'll start talking. And we're not really going to pay attention to it because we're going to listen to that transmission when we go to save him towards Trinity Tower. So let's go inside. I'll see everybody in a second. George, Rex is Seems in like trouble. Kind of Didn't you hear that, that right? Radio? For the tenth time, yes. What do you want me to do about it? Those super mutants would kill me in seconds. Rex got himself into this mess. He'll have to figure out how to get out of it. George Cooper. Damn glad to meet you. Excuse me. Rex sounds like he's gotten himself into trouble again. Oh, yes. He's in quite a pickle. Is that some kind of pun about super mutants being green? I appreciate the attempt at levity. But my mood is quite dour, what with Rex being in the hands of those brutes. So they want us to save oh, uh, Rex. Let's pick up Live and there Love. We go. This allows our companions to carry 10 extra weight, which is all right. It's not like crazy good, but myself. it's better than, you know, not having the extra 10 points. I'm Ann Hargreaves. George and Rex and I run this radio station. <clears throat> I'm worried about Rex. Those super mutants are so brutal. I suppose you want me to go help him. Oh, I thank you for offering. I'm ever so grateful. All right. Uh, <laughs> what do you do here? I used to make the cost. All right. Well, I guess she doesn't want to talk to me. Let's get out of here. Now we can continue our path. I'll just take the road. I was going to cut through, but I'll take the road so nobody gets lost. Not that it's <laughs> something that you're going to be like, oh my god, I can't believe you didn't take the road. I got lost. It's all your fault. I don't know where I'm at. I'm lost. Uh, I'm a dork. Don't mind me. Be careful, there is a hole in the road. And it's not a big deal if you fall down, but 
You don't really want to fall down if you don't have to. Also, there will always be some kind of different hey, enemy there, too. Out there. Now do a run and jump. <laughs> I, again, this is, I believe, a scripted event location. Pretty sure that's what this is. Eh, not really a good legendary, but that's okay. Well, it's not that it's not a good legendary. It's just not a legendary that I can use. Take the dirty postman hat. Where did that dog go? There he is. Ooh, we're not alone here. And he went flying. <laughs> he hit the tree. That was actually really funny. Let's go down to Egret Marina. Egret Tours Marina. I'm sorry. Now, there's landmines all over this place. Be careful. They're repositioned differently each time. So there's no exact way that the frag mines or land mines or whatever are going to be arranged in let's uh pick the lock on this door yes right here is a trip wire we'll get that crate yeah, here in a minute looks safe how much longer do we need to stand here <laughs> piper being sny Let's uh, crack this safe open. That's it. We'll just take everything. And then we'll jump across. Jump back across. And then we'll uh, pick the lock on this door as well. Sweet. Now, before we open that door right there, we want to go down here. And we want to grab a magazine. But take care of the tripwire first and the makeshift bomb. And then right here is the Wasteland Survival Guide. Hell yeah. Let's go in this door and uh, meet a NPC. Kid, I don't know who you are, but you better clear out before I go haywire and blast you. Whoa, slow down. I just want to talk. Right. You just strolled in out of the Commonwealth looking for synths to talk to. Calm down. Tell me what's going on. They've got something they use to control us. To make us do things we don't want to do. Any second now, they might send some signal. Or I'll see the color orange. Or whatever it is they do and... Boom! One more dead fool. Now, are you going to get out of here? Or wait for them to make me kill you? There's got to be more to this. What happened to make you think you're a synth? Look here. You're taking a risk staying here to talk to me. But if that's what it'll take to get you to leave, my grandson Samuel and I were on our own since my daughter died. I managed to get us in on a farm. Hard on these old bones, but it kept us fed. I was on watch one night. I, I don't, I'm sitting there with a gun across my knees, looking out over the hill and, and I think I fell asleep. It's just blank. The next thing I remember is the sound of a gunshot shaking me out of it. And Samuel is at my feet and there's blood everywhere. I know this must be hard for you. Please tell me the rest. There's nothing else to tell. Everyone came running out, but it was just me and Samuel. No raiders, 
no gunners, just blood. One moment he was there, and then the next, just gone. Those little fingers that used to hold my hand, and it's all my fault. You can't imagine what that's like. I saw my wife killed, my son taken, and was powerless to stop it. I understand how you feel. I, I, I didn't. I hope you find him. Family is the only thing worth a damn in this world. But I guess he wasn't really my grandson. They must have just given me those memories. Because who could have done that to their own flesh and blood? Now you know why I'm here and why you need to leave before they make me kill again. I'm a synth and I can't be trusted. Maybe you are a synth. That doesn't mean you can't change. Don't you get it, kid? I'm too dangerous. I'll just end up hurting someone else. We need good people for the Minutemen. It won't change the past, but maybe you can help some people. You'd still ask for my help, knowing what I've done? I don't know. Let me think about it. Look, I, I'm sorry I drew my weapon on you, kid. I think you're right. I gotta find a way to make peace with what happened. And I can't keep running from it. All right, we can now use Egret Marinas to, um, as a settlement. You sure, man? Let's talk to Piper. Hey. Point the way. Hey, Piper. You really do have a talent for finding trouble, don't you? I suppose so. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. Someone poisoned you? Are you kidding me? I barely had the paper going before I got poisoned. First time, I just published an article about this cartel of caravans that had been driving up food prices in the city. Article went over well, even got a boycott of their goods started in town, so I figured I'd pop over to the dugout inn for a victory drink. I'd already taken a swig by the time I realized something was wrong. The Dean, he wasn't at the bar. The beer tasted off, even more so than usual. And I started feeling real woozy. I don't know what he slipped me, but I knew I had to get it out. I'm looking around for something, and there it is, the still, and I just start chugging moonshine. Honestly, I'm still not totally convinced it was better than just dying from the poison, but it worked. And while I was passed out on the floor, security managed to grab the bartender. He eventually ratted out his bosses, and they all got to share some time in the pen. Seems that execution didn't quite take, huh? <laughs> Thank God. I'd been working on this story about irradiated drinking water in Bunker Hill. I traced the water back to its source through these old sewer tunnels, and what do I find? The children of Adam, setting up like they own the place. Unfortunately, they found me just as quick. Turns out they were not fond of reporters. So, to atone for my trespassing, they decided to make a sacrifice to Adam. Me. I'm kneeling there, about to get the boot into this huge sewer pipe, when suddenly I blurt out, Adam! He reveals himself! And they buy it. They pull me back from the ledge, and then gave me their induction ceremony. You are looking at an official acolyte of Adam. Took me a couple more days before I managed to sneak away, get Bunker Hill security to finally clean the place up. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Getting in trouble is what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory, but because it's right. I, I just wanted to let you know. 
I'm real happy to be along for the ride. I wouldn't want it any other way. I like having you close. Oh, uh, thanks, Blue. That's, that's awfully sweet and unexpected of you. So you want to get out of here? Let's, uh, Piper, let's get out of my way first. <laughs> let's continue on now. You don't have to romance Piper. Um, I just like Piper as an NPC, as a companion. Um, I, I like her, uh, her, excuse me, uh, her story. I try to grab all those, uh, mines, by the way. Again, you don't have to. I just like to. We're going to take a left right here. And then at the blue car, we're going to take a right. And once we get a little closer here, we're going to crouch. And the reason why is because this has a ton of super mutants. So get ready to fight. One of them should have a mini nuke in his hand. So be prepared for that. I usually just blow them up. And it may not be the same for you. I'm just, you know, Blue, we're not alone. letting you know my experience. You can't hide forever! I can smell you out there! Let there you are! Skate. Oh, there's a landmine on the ground. Hey, found them and they do not Just be look careful like because there is a lot of cars over there that blow up. Easy to die here for sure. What was that? He's up top there. Ooh, I can carry some rat scorpion. Me. Got him. We'll just stand up. They they see us. There, there's no sense in crouching down. You hit like a rad roach. Do I? <laughs> he just kind of slid off there. You're not punching me, sir. Oh, of course. You got a line on him? So weak. There we go. And a mutant hound? Where'd you come from, sir? Oh, another one. Alright, well just be be prepared. There's quite a few mutants over here. There he is. <laughs> Hello, sir. Also, if you're trying to be extra sneaky, there are some spotlights here. You can unlock that door and loot that as well. There, that's lootable over there. Up there's lootable. Pretty much everything in here is lootable, obviously. This terminal you can go into, turn those lights off if you'd like. Or, you, or no, I don't think they turn off the lights. Um, I think it actually opens up this door. I don't know. I don't ever use this terminal because I, I like to hack and uh, lockpick. So let's go into this terminal, you know, hack it, and open up the door. Than anyone gives them credit for. Lucky for us, they're about as organized as a good neighbor parade route. A good neighbor parade route? Okay. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Grab this buff out. I'm gonna um, pick the lock on both of these safes. Nice. Got it. I'll take all of that. Piper, I need you to move, please. Thank you. Now let's uh, lock pick this door. Got it. All right. Then we're gonna pick up another awesomely 
or wait, astoundingly <laughs> awesome tales. There we go. Poor guy was locked up in that cell, probably died of starvation and uh, dehydration. That would fucking suck. That is not a way I would want to go out for sure. Let's continue on here. We have one more stop before we're at Vault uh, 81. This is where we're going to go get the baseball, the mitt, and the card uh, for the guy that sells the swatters. A.K.A. baseball bats. <laughs> Just saying. They're baseball bats. Take a left here. This is the first of the items that we're going to get. Uh, uh, is that right? Jump over here. We have a Kim box. And then let's uh, crack this safe open. Nice. Here's the baseball. Um, there is a Meyer Lurk. Here. Who's here? <laughs> Come on now, Piper. Come on, Whoa! Larry, I didn't know it was gonna do that. That's pretty sweet. I know. I know it does that with like mines and stuff. I didn't know it did that with uh, Molotovs. Interesting. All right, and then the cards right here. And then we have Bingo. Unstoppables. I believe this is our first Unstoppables magazine, but we get a 1% chance to um, not take damage when shot or hit by an enemy. Pretty sweet um, magazine. I think there's only five of them. Pretty sure there's only five of them, which means you can get up to a 5% chance. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. We're going to uh, backtrack just a little bit. And we're going to go up the hill to these train tracks. And then we're going to make our way to Vault 81. And we'll uh, cut the video once we get to Vault 81. And then I think uh, episode 5... Or 5. Episode 14? I think it's 14. We'll be going into Vault 81 and helping them out. Hopefully. Who knows? Over here, we're going to get ready to veer off to the right. And we want to kind of follow, not really a path, but kind of go towards the billboard here. go underneath these trees or that fallen tree hopefully crickets here cricket is here awesome so it's a good chance that cricket will be right here she's a really good uh merchant i was trying to think of the word trader merchant uh whatever to uh talk to she has the spray and pray which is an explosive submachine gun i got so many flavors of mayhem for sale the only way you get old in this job is assume everyone's out to kill you. Let's uh, go ahead and talk to her. Uh, <clears throat> come on, come on. Get your guns here. Small booms, big booms. I got them all. 
What kind of stuff do you have? If it can chamber cock and spit out lead, then I sell it. I sell slashers and clobberers, too, for those maniacs that like it up close. But hot death flying faster than the speed of sound? Oh, my knees are getting weak just from thinking about it. <laughs> she is an amazing merchant. Let's um, barter with her. Let's see what you got. Guns, guns, and more guns. Just for you. Let's go ahead and end the video right Dad, here. You go? <laughs> They're fighting somebody. Oh, good lordy. You guys uh, take care of that while I uh, do my outro here. All right, everybody. I would like to tell you all thank you for stopping by, first and foremost. Also, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And like always, everybody, I hope you all have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.